We are at 2017 Istanbul Motorbike Show and we have uh, Monster Energy Honda riders Juan Barada and Paolo Gonzalez to answer our questions. First of all, uh, what makes cross country rallying so special? Like, why do you like this other than the other kinds of ra motorcycle races or other kinds of rallies? So, in reality, I, I start to race other type of the race like motocross and enduro. And finally, I race uh, rallies, and it's really, really excited because we have uh, all conditions there. We want to be a good navigator, we want to be a good uh, rider, we want to know a lot about the uh, mechanic, uh, because if you have some problem during the stage, we, can, we want to be smart to fix it, the bike to go ahead. So all these things, it, and during the day we can start to race the stage by uh, s sand dunes and finish the stone that the tracks are mad. So it's really, really... It involves everything, that's yeah, why you yeah, like you, it. You have uh, all types of the terrain there. So this is very, very, very exciting for us. And uh, every every day when we start the stage, we have a challenge for sure in front. Yeah. So I think it's this make the rallies really special. Okay. Uh, our next question is, you know, uh, Dakar used to be back in Africa before 2008. And do, do you prefer, uh, like, do you want to go back to racing in Africa or do you like it in uh, South America? So. Which one do you prefer? My two first uh, race, uh, my, my two first Dakars I did uh, on Africa and now I have nine uh, times on uh, South America. And the re in reality, it's uh, the spirit of the race uh, is there because uh, they, they change by political reasons, I think, from uh, Africa to South America. Uh, but they they keep uh, all spirit uh, on this race on this uh, new continent. Uh, the challenge is there, uh, the adventure is there. So well, you like it. In South uh, this America, is the, spir yeah. the spirit of the rally, and uh, also uh, this race I did in South America. For me, few of them is more difficult than the others I raced before in Africa. So. Uh, let's go ahead and... Uh, oh, it's more challenging yeah, yeah, yeah. you like it, okay. Uh, but uh, imagine, like, if you had the chance to race anywhere, like, your dream stage would be in which country, like, and which terrain it would be. Like, your dream stage. It can be anywhere, anytime. So, all of... Uh, all, all stages are specials. By one reason or other reason. But uh, for, for me, for example, I really love the sand stages. Uh, also dune stage because normally this situation is really beautiful and uh, also when we found the stage with a uh, nice navigation is also also nice yeah, okay. uh, because you said you like sand stages uh, lots of our uh, viewers want to know like when you're racing and you're on full throttle and you see another rider down in the sand dunes what makes you think I should stop and help him rather than go racing because this is one of the most important sp spirit of the, this race is uh, the solidarity and uh, it's uh, this moment is other rider but uh, other moment yeah, can be moment me can and be uh, we want to be ready to help uh, other rider if uh, necessary and uh, I think this is a normal situation and uh, this is the spirit of the rally and came, came from beginning of the this uh, big adventure. So yeah, I, I think I it's understand. a no normal but, situation. But uh, can you tell us what was your favorite moment with your teammate or any other rivals? Like outside the race, like do you ever go out uh, to concerts, bars or restaurants with teammates or yeah. any other riders? Actually, we, we live uh, far away one from others because uh, I'm Portuguese, uh, other teammate uh, is Spanish, other yeah. is French, yeah. other is Argentinian and the other one is uh, French guy. Yeah. So, uh, so 
It's not easier we be together out of the race, but sometimes when we have a, this possibility, we really we try to do some things out of the competition together, and we have a really good uh, compromise. We we are really really together uh, when we are in competition and also out of the competition with uh, all this the distance to make uh, the things more difficult for us to yeah. to be on the weekend together or something is not uh, easier but uh, we try and sometimes uh, this happen and it's so nice yeah okay our last question is uh, because you, you said the spirit of the South America is beautiful and the race, spirit of the race. And what's your favorite fan moment? Like, uh, you know, people come onto the stages or at the service areas, lots of people come to see you. What's your favorite fan moment? If you have anything in mind. It's, uh, it's there in South America about uh, fans is uh, quite amazing because they are every, everywhere. Uh, when we leave from Bibouac, when we arrive to Bibouac during the stage, when we are in the middle of the nothing in the desert, there are 100 people there organized to see the race go across. So this makes special when we are in the middle of the desert and you know all these 100 or 1000 people are there specially to see us uh, crossing there yeah, and so you like this is obli obli obvious this is a uh, made uh, special moment for us okay thanks that, thank that you. was all our questions thank you thank you okay so hello again uh, we're gonna, the first question is uh, why do you like cross country rallying so much like why do you why don't you do motocross or supercross or any other kind of racing but why cross country uh, I I really like uh, rally because it's, there is you have all all, all inside one uh, especially like rally you have motocross because you need to push a lot and you have a place like motocross and uh, you have like enduro some trial sides also so there is all situation inside all possibilities and uh, also you need to make a strategy to think to navigate so there is a lot of things together and and because I, it has everything. You like it, so yeah. That you have to control. Okay. Uh, you know, before 2008, Dakar used to be in Africa, and now you're racing in South America. Uh, would you want to race in Africa again, or do you like it? Do you like it in the uh, South America? Do you like the ambience? Do you like the tracks? Like, which one do you prefer? No, it's different. For sure, now is the uh, all is different uh, after 10 years. The race is different, but all is different. The, the bikes are different, so all is evolutionary. So for sure, it's good place Africa, but also it's good place in in South America, and uh, especially this year with more, much more navigation. There is uh, again a good spirit of the race. Okay, so but uh, forget about America or Africa. Where would your uh, dream stage would be? Like which country or which kind of uh, terrain? Your dream stage, it can yes. be anywhere. Around the, the world is a lot of uh, nice deserts. Uh, but for example, last year in China is amazing. Gobi Desert is amazing, it's a really nice place for maybe a good race. But yeah, South America, Africa, uh, Arabia is also a lot of uh, dunes. So there is uh, each place of uh, his, his uh, particular things. But there is a lot of, in the world, a lot of uh, nice places. Okay. Uh, next question is, uh, how do you like uh, working with your teammates? Like, other than racing, do you go out and do stuff? Or what's your favorite moment with your teammates? With the teammates, uh, they, we spend a lot of time together. But uh, especially in the test, when you are more relaxed and working in the middle of the desert, it's always fun. And, and there we, we have a good group, of not only riders, Mechanics, engineering. Uh, right now, after three, four years and on, the we make, we build a nice group, good atmosphere. So it's really nice to work yeah. with this uh, team as well now. Okay. Uh, speaking of favorite moments, what's your favorite moment with uh, fans? Like you know, there are a lot of fans coming on the stages. There are a lot of fans coming to service areas. But there must be something like you like the most about fans. What is it? 
Yeah, it's nice uh, when they are supporting you. When you win, for sure, it's, uh, everybody is there. And but especially, you feel more and you understand. It's really nice when uh, bad moments, you know, when you have uh, some injury or when you have uh, not good results, and then when they support you at this moment, it's really nice. <laughs> but you have? Do you have a favorite memory, like funny thing, like? Fan coming up to you and jumping on you to hug, get a hug, anything like that, or I try to 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 answer to all this support, especially in South America. There is a lot of fans and always following the race, following you, supporting you, and there are a lot of in the middle of the like desert, that. and and it's amazing. And this is it's very really nice that uh, yeah. you can see how they really like uh, this sport, and and it's really fun. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you know, uh, because we were talking about sand dunes and stuff, uh, when you're racing and you know you have a good lead, what makes you uh, stop when you see another driver, another rider in uh, trouble, like they're falling down? And what makes you think oh, I should stop and help him rather than go race? You need to, to consider it and to know if really need help, uh, like a medical help or not. If, if it's a mechanical trouble, you need to continue. There is uh, some uh, security systems to support him on the organization. But yeah, when, when there is one crash and, and there is one accident, you have to stop and to, to support fast as, as quick as possible and to, to order a alarm to, to keep the, the assistance to the point. Okay, actually, this was all we wanted to ask you. So thank you for your time. Thank you very much.